Now, in the previous lecture, you understand how to read the file using FS module of Node. In this lecture, we're going to talk about how to write and update the file using FS module. So, if you want to update, read and delete files, you have three methods. So, there are three methods which is very important while working with files. So, these are the methods. These are the asynchronous methods and these are the synchronous methods. Keep in mind, synchronous code will stop later code from running when there is an error message. Asynchronous code will not do that. It will continue the execution. So, if you want to stop the execution, use synchronous method of files. I'm going to show you how you can use both these methods one by one. Now, I'm going to first show you how to write the file using node. So, here I'm going to create a variable constant content is equal to and then I'm going to specify here array and pass object inside it. And here I'm going to specify type and specify value to it node application. Just start that down here. I'm going to call synchronous method. So here I'm going to say fs dot write file sync. So I'm going to just choose this write file sync. Just out of that, just specify parentheses in the single code. I'm going to specify the path of the file. So here I'm going to say test dot json. As you can see, I don't have this file in this node modules folder. This method will create this file and put this data inside it. So as a second argument to this method, I'm going to pass json dot stringify and pass my content this one i'm going to pass this content inside this json file using this second argument save the changes and execute this file when i execute this file you can notice i'm going to have here a file test.json and inside it i'm going to have my data so that's super easy to create a file using a synchronous code now let me show you how to do the same thing with asynchronous code but this time i'm going to write the data inside this test.txt so i'm going to get it off and this data right from here save this file and get rid of these statements and here i'm going to say constant content is equal to and specify node application just sort of that here i'm going to call the asynchronous method so here i'm going to say fs dot write file so this is the asynchronous method as a first argument i'm going to specify the file name I'm going to specify here test.txt. This one, let me just delete this file. Here I'm going to specify test.txt. So this method will create this file. And I'm going to specify the second argument. So here I'm going to specify the data I want to insert inside this file. I want to insert this content. So here I'm going to say content. Just like that, I want to specify the flag. So in the object, I'm going to specify flag colon. And in the single quote, I'm going to specify a plus. Just after this flag, I'm going to call here error and call a callback function. And inside it, I'm going to say if, if there is any error, just print it using console.log and just exit from this method or print a message successfully done. Save the changes. When I execute this file, I'm going to have a message successfully done. And you can notice here the test.txt file is created with the data node application. So using a synchronous way, it is also very easy to create a file. Now suppose you already have this file in your project directory. This method won't create the duplicate file. Instead, instead this method will append the content inside that file. Now there are different flags you can specify with this method. Here you can notice I specify here A+. A+, means open the file for reading and writing, positioning the stream at the end of the file. The file is created if it is not exist. Just out of that, we have a flag. This a flag open the file for writing, positioning the stream at the end of the file. The file is created if it is not exist. We'll talk about how stream work later in this course. Just for now, just understand the second flag, which is r plus. This flag open the file for reading and writing. Then we have w plus. The w plus flag will open the file for reading and writing, positioning the stream at the beginning of the file. Stream is actually allows us to append the data at some position. W plus flag allows us to stream the data at the beginning of the file. So for example, if I append node plus, save the changes and execute this file again, then you can notice if you open the test.txt, you can notice here the data of this file is append at the beginning of the stream. And just out of that, what if I specify here A plus, save the changes and execute this program again. 
When I execute this file, you can notice the data is now append at the end of this file. So using this A plus flag, I'm going to just append this data at the end of the string. So as you can notice, using this flag, you can update your file content. So what if I just specify here daily tuition? Save the changes and execute this file again. This will update this file and add daily tuition at the end of the string. So I'm going to have this daily tuition at the end of the file. And what if you want to remove all the content from this file and put a new content inside it? So basically you want to update this file. In that case, you can use a W flag with plus sign. So here I'm going to specify W plus and I'm going to change this content and here I'm going to specify node.js. Save the changes and execute this file. When I execute this file, inside this file you have node.js. So this W plus flag will update your file very easily. So if you want to append the content at the end of the file, just use A plus. And if you want to update the complete file, use W plus. And if you want to just read the file, use R plus. And if you want to just open the file for writing, not for reading, just use A. So these are some useful flags while working with Node files. You can find more about these flags on Node website. Just out of that, what if you want to delete the file? You can use a Node unlinked method. So I'm going to just get rid of this statement from here. And here I'm going to say fs.unlink. I'm going to use the asynchronous method unlink. And if you want to use synchronous, you just need to specify here unlink sync. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use unlink. And in the parenthesis, I'm going to specify the part of the file. I'm going to specify here test.txt. So this is the file which I want to delete using this unlink method. So just for that, I'm going to specify the second argument, which is the error as a callback function. And here I'm going to say if, if there is any error inside this file, just print it using console.log and exit from this method. Or print a message console.log and I'm going to say here file removed. Let me just save this file and execute this program. As you can notice, when I execute my program, I'm going to have a message a file removed and the file is now removed from your project directory. So I hope you understand how to work with files in Node. Next, we'll take a look at routing.